Lana Jones, and I'm responsible for process improvements uh, in the international market, and I work for QVC. So for those of you who don't know QVC, um, QVC is part of Curate Retail Group, the largest player in video commerce. And Q stands for quality, V stands for value, and then C stands for convenience. We offer a huge range of products from items as small as lipsticks to items as big as Christmas trees. So if you haven't shopped with us, then please do give it a try. So I am of Chinese origin and my print name is Chu Ping. I, I used to work for Maris Klein, which is a shipping company. So I found it quite funny to introduce myself in the past as Hi, I'm Xu Ping. I used to work for a shipping company and then in between I worked for Bosch. So every seems to be this shh somehow. <laughs> Back in 2009, when I worked for Merskline, I was to convict to work in Copenhagen for three months on the project together with the other project team members. It was the first time I experienced Lean Six Sigma methodology. It was looking at the um, inland storage, demerge and detention costs, so from a global perspective. I didn't have any knowledge and experience till then, and um, that was my first impression and first experience. And I thought, wow, <laughs> this is like common sense. Uh, obviously, common sense is uncommon practice. I love the structured way of problem solving. The tools that are there to help us answer specific questions, and it develops our thinking through the process. So I instantly fell, fell in love with the uh, the method and you know the methodology itself. I'd say the person who influenced me the most was my black belt coach. He may not have realized the positive impact he had on me as a, as a person in terms of my career choice, my leadership style, etc. Uh, he was a great leader and manager. I remember every morning he would come to us and say, good morning. It was not a grand gesture, but it just showed that he was present. It was as if he was saying to us, I'm here if you need me. He made us accountable for our performances and he was always there and always willing to support and listen whenever needed. Personally to me, he was a teacher, a coach, mentor, both of us have left the company now, the company that we worked for. However, we've, we're still in touch. As far as I see it, he's a lifetime coach, mentor and friend that I have huge respect for. This definitely shaped my leadership style, just like, you know, he made a difference to me and I hope to make a positive difference to those around me. First of all, it's about teaching people the knowledge and skill to improve. It's about the thinking as opposed to the tools. The tools are only there to, to develop our thinking. It's about changing the culture of an organization where everyone is free to challenge the status quo and is empowered to make changes that deliver better outcomes and uh, experience for our customers. It's about change management, as I mentioned already. How do we ensure we address that social, emotional side of things? It's more important than the technical knowledge of Lean and Six Sigma. It's not about having the solution, but trusting the people and the process in order to find solutions that result in improvements. It's not about um, finding the perfect solutions, rather better solutions. It's continuous and we should always be in pursuit of a better solution. Last but not least, it means endless opportunities. 
Business improvement methodology can be applied in any industry, whether it's home or work. So if you started this journey, I think, yeah, it's fantastic. <laughs> Over the years, I've seen lots of examples where continuous improvement made a huge impact to the organizations that delivered better service to the customers, reduced costs, increase capacity, improve quality, safety, better team member experience, um, just general better customer experience. Through visual management, leader standard work, team member em empowerment, etc., we see better communication throughout the organization and a more pioneering spirit where team members feel free to challenge the status quo. So it definitely has huge impact, not from just, you know, things that we can see and view and measure, but also from a culture perspective. I look for good visual management, for example, 5S, to assess the health of the organization. It's like performance at a glance. Does everything have a place and are they in their place? How are things flowing? Do I see a lot of inventory built up? Is the information on the visual management board up to date? Uh, is there a problem solving process in place? And just generally speaking to people and understand, you know, do they speak the same language? Yeah. So what I would like to see in our leaders, they're not just sitting behind the the computers and working on reports and presentations and most of their time should be spent in, in the on the shop floor or in Gemba and this is where we can truly understand and get a gauge of what kind of continuous improvement culture the site has and also you know do they have a a different tiered problem solving approach and then communication so how do they communicate the performance from the previous day and throughout the the chain to you know what are the priorities on the day and what kind of problem solving process is in place and uh, how do they continuously improve I would say just from personal experience, as I mentioned that, you know, business improvement, it's really universal. You can apply it everywhere, you know, whether it's home environment or work environment, in you know, logistics, retail, in any industry. Um, I would say that, you know, this is something it equips you with the, the competency and that it's transferable, whatever you do. So just stay curious and don't stop learning. The more you learn, the more you realize you don't know. Be reflective, reflect regularly on what went well and what are the unpleasant surprises and learn from your experience and build upon them. Business improvement will continuously make you to be a reflective thinker. Also, you know, there are some, some advice that I think uh, I'd like to share with those who, who who are at the start of their career in terms of business improvements. Find someone who inspires you. Maybe that person can be your teacher, coach, mentor, who will be a huge asset in your development. Uh, and also, you know, it's easy to get excited when you start to build your first statistical model. However, remember not to fall in love with your model because uh, as my coach once reminded me that all models are wrong and some are more useful. I remember, you know, the uh, especially somebody at the start of their business improvement journey and they tend to get excited about those things. Um, and business improvement is all about change, how you influence others through the change journey is critical to success. And always remember the audience, use language that they understand and present information which can connect with the audience. Yeah, just have fun. I think business improvement is such a fun career choice. I've had so much fun throughout my career and uh, I'm still on this journey. I will definitely continue this journey. <laughs> you never get bored. <laughs>